Well, now, in regard to this problem of, uh, of the ultimate revolution, uh, this has been very well summed up by the moderator. Uh, in the past, we can say that uh, all revolutions have essentially aimed at changing uh, the environment in order to change the individual. I mean, there's been the uh, political revolution, the economic revolution, uh, in the time of the Reformation, the religious revolution, uh, all these uh, aimed, as I say, not directly at the human being, but at his surroundings, so that by modifying the surroundings you did achieve, uh, in, at one remove, a, an effect upon the human being. Today, uh, we are faced, I think, with the approach of what may be called the ultimate revolution, the final revolution, where, well, it seems to me that the, the nature of the ultimate revolution with which we are now faced is precisely this, uh, that we are in process of developing a whole series of techniques which uh, will enable the controlling oligarchy, who have always existed and presumably always will exist, uh, to get people actually to love their servitude. Uh, th this is the, seems to me the, the ultimate uh, in malevolent revolution, shall we say. And uh, this, is a, this is a problem which uh, has interested me for many years and about which I wrote uh, 30 years ago a, a fable, The Brave New World, which uh, is uh, essentially the account of a society making use of all the the devices at that time available, and some of the devices which uh, uh, I imagined to be possible, uh, making use of them in order to, first of all, to standardize the population, to iron out uh, inconvenient human dis uh, um, differences, uh, to create, uh, so to say, mass-produced uh, models of human beings arranged uh, in some kind of a scientific uh, caste system. And